I'll tell you, you're going to hear people preach the opposite more and more in the days that you don't have anything to do with your cleansing. Jesus did it all. So let's not do a thing. We'll sit here on our butts all day. Pray, pray for a little more bling, bling, bling. Jesus did the work. So you could be a total jerk and stay up late and look at porn. Then thank God for his grace some more. All my children hate my guts. Cause I'm rude to their mother and I flirt with slummy women. But when the father looks at me, all he sees is beauty. Because Jesus blinded him, he can't see my filthy sin. I'm so glad to be a delusional Christian. Buenos dias, mis amigos. Welcome to my channel. Please support your local food bank. Drug and Alcohol Center. If you're new to my channel, soy Pastor de la Calle. I'm a Christian Street Pastor. We're also going to be looking at false prophets. That's what I do. We're going to do a Bible study regarding the internet false prophets. Now, this group here in Canada, there's Steve Holstrom. We're going to be looking at his teaching today. But this is a picture that demonstrates that the network here in Canada, that's Barry Wunsch. He actually flew zoom, into Steve's chest and discovered that Steve has a heart of gold. He also zoom, flew into Donald Trump's chest in one of his visits to the White House, Fort Knox, and over zoom, over to Taiwan, zoom, into the submarine. Time travel is the latest one. These are our false prophets here in Canada. You'll find horoscopes. The age of Aquarius represents Pentecost. The Capricorn half fish, half goat man represents Isaiah 53. The alarm clock prophetess, Renee. And of course, this is the inspired priest. All right. According to Bob Jones, he's the inspired priest. Flashing the devil horns. I've done videos on this group. I'm fascinated by this religious movement. Dominion theology, the great wealth transfer. And of course, Barry, of course, goes into convulsions and gives some of the most bizarre false prophecies I've ever heard in my life. Praise the Lord. Now, we're going to get to his latest sermon where he's teaching. We must look at that first. Sexual morality... Idol worship. So essentially worshiping Satan, idolaters, idolaters. Okay, so sex affairs, sexual morality. You still go to heaven when you die, but you don't enter the kingdom of heaven because God told them that, that the kingdom of heaven's not in heaven. In fact, the kingdom, of, it, essentially what this is, I'm fascinated by this particular man's teachings. He, it's, it's so many elements of universalism, there's a lot of type of Mormon theology where it, it, it's a fascinating study. And he's claiming that if you're, and I'm here to tell you, if you're cheating on your wife, worshiping Satan, you're not going to heaven, right? You know, as if I have to say that, but I, I'm just for the record. Okay, so if now is the day of salvation. If you're lusting with your eyes, cheating on your wife or your husband, get right with the God today, now. If you want to listen to Steve tell you that you're still going to heaven in every kind of worshiping Satan, go listen to him, all right? All right. Now, forgive me. I just get up. Now, this is Matthew 24. Now, if you're a hyper preterist, this has already happened in 70 AD. I'm here to tell you that Jesus hasn't returned yet. And that this is absolutely for today. See that no one leads you astray, for many will come in my name saying, I am the Christos. That means Christ in English, the anointed one. And will lead many astray. If you're a Christian, they're targeting you. Many false prophets will arise and lead many astray. They're going to be very popular. They're going to be claiming to be prophets. And they're going to be speaking blasphemous heresy on the internet. They're going to be claiming that they've thrown in the flown into the, to the submarines and time travel and have the secret JFK files. It's, it's so bizarre to me how popular these false prophets are. False Christ, false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonder to lead astray, if possible, the elect. Reiterate, they're holding Bibles, they're claiming Christianity, and they're flashing the devil horns, putting horoscopes on the screen, all right? 
All right. Good morning. So let's, we're going to play, this is a song that he sings in this sermon. It came out August 27th, three days ago. And I'm playing this to show you, this man is extremely intelligent, very gifted man. You know, very charismatic, tremendous amount of talents and abilities. Now in this song, he's mocking, um, well, it's a mocking song. So we'll listen to it to give you a demonstration He's quite entertaining. These people find him. I'll tell you, you're going to hear people preach the opposite more and more in the days that you don't have anything to do with your cleansing. Jesus did it all. So let's not do a thing. We'll sit here on our butts all day and pray for a little more bling, bling, bling. Jesus did the work so you could be a total jerk and stay up late and look at porn. Then thank God for His grace some more. All my children hate my guts Cause I'm rude to their mother And I flirt with slummy women <laughs> But when the Father looks at me All He sees is beauty because Jesus blinded him, he can't see my filthy sin. I'm so glad to be a delusional Christian. Okay. Moving on. Now. This man's claiming that he hasn't had an unpure or lustful thought in nine years. So we'll listen to that, and then we'll get to how worshiping Satan in a sex affair, you still go to heaven. My, my willingness to say yes to God, I just started saying yes to God in areas where I'd always resisted him, even uh, purity, lust. I can say this, either I'm lying or I'm telling the truth, okay? I haven't had a bad day with lust. Guys, I haven't had a bad day in nine years. Now, either that's a bold-faced lie or it's the truth. But do you know David said? I have hidden thy word in my heart so that I might not sin against thee. Uh, if you're a new Christian, he's referring to King David. Now, King David wrote the Psalms, and he also had a sex affair with... Bathsheba and killed her husband and did a lot of bad things but he had a, a soft contrite heart and got right with the Lord. I love King David. He's a great example of God's mercy and grace. If you're living in sin right now today is a day of salvation. All right. If you want to have a sex affair and worship Satan and still go to heaven go listen to this guy. All right. All right. Moving on because now he's claiming sorry back that up. I haven't had an impure thought or lust in nine Purity, years. Purity, lust. I can say this. Either I'm lying or I'm telling the truth. Okay? I haven't had a bad day with lust. Guys, I haven't had a bad day in nine years. Because Jesus blinded him, he can't see my filthy sin. I'm so glad to be a delusional Christian. Forgive me, that's the wrong clip. Moving on, let's um, go over here because now he's claiming that he doesn't have any temptation for lust either. No, no, no. You don't become righteous by doing things right. You seek righteousness. Ask him for righteousness. He'll give it to you for free. And how do you know when you've received it? Because you have the power to live above sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd say from 2014, I'll tell you that God gave me. I hungered for it. I meditated on his word. But I hung and I said, God, I don't want to struggle with lust anymore. I don't care if all the boys do it. You know, people say, boys will be boys. People joke about it like it's no big deal. I know there's more for those who say yes to God than those who simply believe. 
God, I have to have righteousness. And you know what? He gave me a gift of righteousness. That's not an issue anymore. All right. So he gave me a gift of righteousness. So impure thoughts or lustful thoughts are not an issue for him anymore. All right. Let's keep going. Now, this is the theology I want to spend some time on. and um, It's called Access Granted. By the way, today is a salvation. Today is a day of salvation. All right? if, you're, if you're struggling with lust, all right, get on your knees. Call out to the Lord. Guard your eyes. All right? Protection. Spiritual warfare is done on our knees, walking in obedience to the Lord. All right, but we are under the day of grace. That's what the grace of God is. It brings salvation, teaching us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and live self-controlled, upright, godly lives in this present age. You find that in Titus 2.11. All right. And uh, it's all about the kingdom of God, and it will rewire your brain till you read the scriptures and you don't make everything. People make everything about heaven and hell. People make, okay, so he's, he's his agenda, this is his book in his hand. We'll, we'll listen right through. His agenda is that everywhere in the Bible where it says kingdom of heaven, this is the works-based reward system that he has the secret download. So you still go to heaven when you die. Doesn't There's nothing that you could ever do that would exclude you from heaven. But when the kingdom of heaven is in the Bible, and this is what we're going to get to today, this is talking about a reward system of activation of healing and gifts and uh, the one percenters here on earth and he's claiming that god told them that you know they read a scripture and they just assume well that disqualifies everybody from heaven most of the time most of the scriptures that you think are about heaven and hell have nothing to do with heaven and hell Preachers will preach, when they want to preach against homosexuality, what do they do? They go for 1 Corinthians and they go, Do you not know that the sexual immoral will not inherit the kingdom of God? Right? Neither the sexual immoral, nor idolaters, nor idolaters, nor men who have sex with men, nor thieves, nor greedy, nor idolaters, nor idolaters will inherit the kingdom of God. So there's your proof. All gay people go to hell. Is that what he said? No. He said they can't enter the kingdom of God. If the kingdom of God is heaven when you die, we're hooped. Jesus said, if you don't have a childlike heart, you'll never enter the kingdom of God. Well, how many people in this church, all, does everyone in this room have a childlike heart? <laughs> you bet, she says, we all do. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Guess what? Is God, a is God going to send everyone to hell who doesn't have a childlike heart? No. But when you stand before Jesus one day and you walk in and you see the streets of gold and the crystal sea and the angels and his throne and you go, wow, Jesus, the kingdom of God is beautiful. I love it. He's going to say, I'm glad you like the place. Welcome home. But this isn't the kingdom of God. This is heaven. And you are here. But the kingdom of God, I, I told you when I was there, maybe you didn't read that part. The kingdom of God, I said, was here. It was near. It was in your midst. It was all around you. Remember I said that if you didn't have a childlike heart, you couldn't enter. Remember if I said you were greedy, you couldn't enter the kingdom? I'm sorry. You never dealt with that greed issue in your life. To the day you died, you never surrendered to me in the area of your finances. But I love you. Welcome home. But I'm sorry, you missed out. You did miss out. And you will never enter the kingdom of God. You had to do that then. All right. So we'll back this up. I want to break this down a little bit. If you don't understand, if you're a new Christian, if you don't understand what he just said, Shockingly, this man is claiming that God, the kingdom of heaven, God's kingdom, is not in heaven, but on earth. Now, he's referring to the greedy, the sexual morality, idol worshipping. Doing those things don't disqualify you for the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God, because the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God is not in heaven. It's here on earth. Right? That's what he's teaching. He's been teaching it for years. He's written a book about it. 
And um, we're going to look at the Bible scripture that he's manipulating, twisting into his false, blasphemous theology, leading people straight into hell. Because I'm here to tell you, if you were worshiping Satan in sexual morality, cheating on your husband or your wife, you are not going to the kingdom of heaven. And by the way, the kingdom of heaven is in heaven. All right. And we enter in the kingdom of heaven today. Now you become a new creation in Christ. All right. All things are, behold, all things are new. The old is gone. All is new. You enter into a royal priesthood, a holy nation. <laughs> we are one family in Christ Jesus. Instantaneously, you are, because you have a king. All right. You serve him. He's, you're a temple of the Holy Spirit. You're in God's kingdom now, here. That doesn't mean that there is no kingdom of heaven in heaven. It's ludicrous. But he's claiming that God told him that. So let's just look at, we're just going to back this up. Preachers make heaven and hell. Here we go. Preachers will preach, when they want to preach against homosexuality, what do they do? They go for 1 Corinthians and they go, do you not know? That the sexual immoral will not inherit the kingdom of God. All right. So the sexual, so sex affairs, idolatry, hookers, drunken orgies, and we're preaching Satan. Preachers use this for heaven and hell. Heaven and hell have nothing to do with it. All right. So here's a Bible verse. This is 1 Corinthians 6. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Now, the very next thing is, do not be deceived. You know, the great thing about it is, when I, when I do exposed videos, the Holy Spirit is the one that reveals the truth. But when he, the Spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all truths. He will not speak of his own. He will only speak of what he hears and tell you what is yet to come. All Christians are indwelt with the power of the Holy Spirit. All right. This mock job of a, of a false pastor. All right. Doing his little I'm song. I'm so glad to be a delusional Christian. You know, he can have his laughing games, his comedy routines, and his false songs and his mockery inside of God's house. This is inside of a church, preaching blasphemous lies to God's children and spanning this across on social media. He doesn't give an account to me. One day, this man will stand before God and give an account for taking the holy word of God and twisting and manipulating it into his false theologies. Do not be deceived, neither the sexual morality, idol worshipers, adulterers, men who practice sexual homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revivals, nor swindlers, will inherit the inheritance, the kingdom of God. And if you have to read the Bible in context, and such were some of you, but were washed. Praise the Lord. You were sanctified. Praise the Lord. You were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the Spirit of God. Praise the living God. <laughs> if you know a bit about my testimony or your testimony, I have a lot of tough guys. I'm not going to say his name. I have a, a very good friend. All right. Spent many years of his life for murder. He was a murderer. All right. Drug dealing, murderer, gang member. He's a good friend of mine and now living for the Lord. All right. And um, such was I. Such was I. All right. Sexual morality, idol worshiping, and adulterers don't go to heaven. All right? Such were some of you, but you were washed. You were sanctified. You were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the Spirit of God. Grace and faith in Christ alone. We don't get to heaven, all right, by our good deeds. We get to heaven by Christ and his sacrifice for our sins. Thank you for watching my video. And um, I'm actually on my way out the door for my street outreach. If you haven't signed up or checked out my Facebook group, it's right here. I do updates quite often on my Facebook group. And um, I just, uh, I never know. I got great people posting every day in here. This is the fruit of the spirit. In Spanish, amor, gozo, paz, paciencia, banda, monsidumi, fe, templanza.
Tei Templanza. There's nueve dones del Espíritu Santo. I speak Spanish. So Galatas 5, 22, 23. Put a thumbs up on that one. If you have a prayer request, and uh, you can go do that. And if you don't have Facebook, this is my website. You can come here, check out my newsletter. And on my news, on my website, right here is my newsletter. Sign it up. In fact, I'm a little bit behind. I've been very busy. I was in the hospital all day long yesterday uh, with a friend of mine. He's uh, fully detoxed. I think today he's got one week. And um, I'm supposed to send out my newsletter uh, tomorrow. I haven't even started it, but um, I'll put something together. So if you want to see my newsletter, I send on a newsletter once a month. And if you'd like to watch everything I have, freely I've received, freely I give, uh, Necromancy, Grace, Second Heretics online, I have a whole entire tab for people that are holding onto tombstones, laying onto tombstones. Warning, you don't get special mental powers by per per uh, committing necromancy with the dead. Entertainment churches, if you would like to come watch this, I have uh, Brian Houston should we pay back the money. And um, these are entertainment churches. And False Prophets, uh, Hypnotized and Brainwashed. This is the Inspired Priest with the Devil Horns. You can go watch that. The Holy Spirit is the Pressure Washer Hair Dryer Heresy. As well as the Hornet Angels. Charles Taze Russell, Donald Trump is the savior of the world and he flew into his chest and the secret JFK files because he time traveled. Cat Kerr, demons are shooting arrows. God created woman to protect man. These are all public domain, you're welcome to go watch. And of course the horoscopes. I wanna do another horoscope video um, in the Lord's timing. I will do it, but I am focused on my street ministry. So thank you for watching. And uh, please join me in prayer that for everyone who has accepted these false prophets. I think when I reflect on it, none of these people, none of the horoscope readers, omen readers, license plate readers, dream interpretation, omen reading, or people claiming that worshiping Satan in a drunk, drunken sex affair, you're still going to heaven theology. I don't believe any of them have come to the, it is God that grants repentance. When you give false prophecy at the, the alarming amount of just, tidal wave of false prophecy and false teachings there's no conviction of sin they i'm convinced they think that they are prophets you know it i, I think that they do believe that and it's sad to watch you know and like a reiterate that's why i think you know this man is in my opinion i'm so glad to be a delusional christian on the day of judgment, he won't be glad. Everyone will give an account one day. James 3 says, those who teach or instruct are held at the highest accountability. Please join me in prayer for my fellow Canadians that are sitting under the poisonous teachings of these false prophets. Have a great day. So may the Lord bless you, keep you strong in the faith, and always remember, Brother John loves you.